Welcome friends, artists, visitors, subscribers to Monet Cafe. Today I'm bringing you a painting with expression lesson on unsanded paper. Now this is the speed version. I did a full real-time version on my Patreon page, but I still wanted you guys to get to see this process and I want to go ahead and share with you a little bit about some of the supplies that I used. Now this is unsanded paper. I'm using the Canson Mitant's pastel paper. This is not the one that they recently invented or pretty recently that is sanded. It's called Touch. This is just the regular unsanded pastel paper, the kind you often buy when you don't know that there are sanded papers around, but it can be done. And so in this painting uh, tutorial, I will demonstrate in the speed version how you can actually use uh, pastels on unsanded paper. And I did kind of an interesting technique here. I actually uh, wanted to show you first the pastels that I used. The top ones are Prismacolor New Pastels. They're a little bit harder and the middle row and the bottom row are all m more of your general softies, the real softies that are so vibrant and color. When you have an unsanded surface like this Canson paper, it's often good to start with a soft pastel that leans more towards the harder end of the spectrum, like the ones on the top, the new pastels. The reason is because the paper doesn't have any grit. Uh, the softies uh, really take up every bit of layering, so you can't really layer much more on top of it. So you'll see at the beginning, other than some of the darks I apply at first, I use a lot of the uh, new pastels that are on the top there, and they do work quite well on um, the unsanded paper. And then, you know, the softies at the end mostly because they are more vibrant in color. They have more pigment and less binder. So they really do create that pop of color at the end. And that's why often you hear the common rule is to work hard pastels to soft pastels. Start with the harder ones. You know, sometimes you have to choose based on your color choices. And I certainly don't always um, work exactly that way, but it's just a good general rule. Okay, so enjoy this. I'd like you to comment and let me know if you like this format. I, I painted, you'll see in a minute, literally flat on my table. I know as artists we usually paint with our um, easels up, but uh, I painted flat and just lift up and dust it off my paper every so often so that you could see the pastels better that I'm working with. You'll see me literally laying them around the painting and even on the painting at times. So enjoy this. It was a joyful experience for me. A lot's going on in my life and I really just needed to paint. So enjoy to this music and please comment. Let me know what you think.
I hope you enjoyed that and this joyful painting blessed you. It certainly blessed me. So if you liked that, again, please leave a comment. I love to hear from you guys. Subscribe to my channel and as always, happy painting.